Uh, welcome to this instructor's two. Topic three. We are going to start the Chinese reminder here with our topic. Uh, Chinese reminder theory, as you can see, is a theory, but specifically it's a mathematical theory. It is a mathematical theory uh, that um, provides a way to find a unique solution to a system of congruences. It provides a unique solution to a system of system of congruences. Eh? So. Uh, you can say that uh, we can try to find the general formula of the Chinese reminder theory because we have learned the discrete structure as well, so we are going to be brief. It's just the same, it's just an improvement, a little bit of improvement. So, uh, for example, let us consider some system congruency. Eh? For example, if you have been given a system of x congruent to a1 um, and M1. And then the same x congruent to A2 model M2. X congruent to A. Uh, you go there up to, you can continue within the natural numbers up to AK model M. Let us consider these uh, system congruence so that we can find the general formula of the Chinese reminder theory. So, if uh, you want the Chinese reminder theory to work, uh, we say that uh, if you try to find the GCD, GCD of M1, M2 to MK, when you find the GCD all of it, you get that it's 1. That's where the Chinese remainder theory will apply if the GCD is 1. Uh, then, the solution, the, we are trying to find the general formula, or the solution of this so that you can find the, we are trying to find the x, eh? the unique solution for x. So, the general formula can be written as x is congruent to a1 times times M1 the big M1 times M1 inverse plus A2 M2 M2 inverse plus you go up to where the natural numbers are a K and K K inverse. So this one, then all of it, the module two, and where A one A one A two to A K you have been given, and M one, the formula, the way you find the M one is that M one is equals to M. All over M1. Then the M, M is equal to M1 times M2 times M3. These are the smaller Ms. And then the M1 inverse. And this is the modular inverse of the digits given. And that's the modular inverse of M1, modular M. To find the modular inverse, there are two ways you can find it using the Euclidean formula, or you can go try and error up to when you get the answer. Uh, without much explanation, let us go to the workable examples. So let us have some system congruences. Uh, like uh, x is congruent to 2 mod 3, x is congruent to 3 mod 4, 
x is congruent to mm. As I said earlier, when you want to to make sure that this Chinese reminder works in this uh, system congruency, you try to find the LCM of 3 for this one, this modular, the modular digits 3.5. When you try to find the, the GCD, you will get find that it's only one that appears here. Meaning it's GCD is one. Meaning the Chinese reminder will work. So we come up with a simple table. We come up with a simple table to try to find, uh, find the edges that we don't have. So here we are going to have the given and here not given. So in this equation, we have been given A1, A2, then A3. At the same time, we have been given M1, M2, then M3. A1 is equal to 2, 3, and then here 2 again. Then here we have been given 3, 4, and then 5. So the things that you don't have in, when we write our general formula is the M1, M2, M3. Same time, we don't have the M1 inverse, M2 inverse, M3 inverse. And then, uh, we need to find M. So we had said earlier before that to find M, uh, to find M, we say that M is equal to M1 times M2 times M3. So we say that uh, 3 R times 4 times 5. Each one will get 60. So we are finding out M after M is 60. The module of 60 what of it. So uh, we come up uh, we will come up with a formula to find you don't you don't need to work in the table so as to make our table clean for the digits so as not to confuse you. Come and then you start the formula. We say that to find M1, we say that it is M one over M. So we get it at 60 uh, divided by 3, which is 20. Come right here. Uh, then M2, M2 is equal to M on the M2, 60 divided by 4, which will give you 15. Then M3 is equal to M over M3. Uh, 60 divided by 5. It will give you 12. Uh, we have finished finding the M. We need uh, to find the M1 inverse. Uh, the M1 inverse. So I say there are two formulas you can use with median way or uh, you can try using the triangle error You go which one is best for you. So the formula to find the, the M1 inverse is that we say that M1 times M1 inverse is equal to 1 modulus. Like for example, uh, we can say that one module uh, because we are finding the M1, we come and use this module. 
at 6 divided by 5. It goes there how many times? 7 times the remainder? 1. It remains how many? 1. one. So we need our, our M3, M3 inverse is equal to 3. And then we come and uh, write our general formula that we found. But uh, for now we write it according to the system congruences that we have been given. So it's come and say X is congruent to A1 times M1 times M1 inverse plus A2 times M2 inverse uh, times M2 times M2 inverse plus A3 times M3 times M3 inverse all of these M. So we come and say X is equal to A1, we have our A1 our uh, uh, M M1 is 20, M1 inverse is 2. Plus our A2 was 3, M2 was 15, and uh, M2 inverse was 3, uh, plus, come and find the A3 was 2, our uh, M3 was uh, 12, then all of it more than 60. We come and say that 20 is 80 uh, plus 135 plus 135 plus at least 24 is 3 is 72. All of it more than 60. When you add all of them, it will be left with congruent to the it is 287 mod, mod 60. So we are trying to find the unique solution of x. So our unique solution will be x is the congruent to the 287 mod. 60. This is our unique solution of that congruent equation. Thank you for past example.